Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Henda, bare me, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another podcast in chill. And today I'm hanging out with my sister from another mister. <laughs> I know her as Mpo, my boy, but you know, might know her as uh, Mpo. Hey, I'm going to butcher your surname. <laughs> Let's solo. Let's solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, Shem. I've heard so many variations of my surname. Yeah, look at you. You're glowing. I'm happy. Hey, is there another baby coming on the way? Well, no, 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 bro. No. Like, I didn't have time for that. Yeah. No, I have no time for that. Uh, thank you for no, coming, no, no, man. No, no. We've been I wanting to die. do this for a while. Bro. I know. You've been stalking me for quite a while now you know and now you're finally here yeah no let's thank those beer people uh so <laughs> if it wasn't for them i wouldn't have bumped into no. you <laughs> uh so you might not know this name but yeah the first time i met you dude i was scared of you why you were so intimidating why does everyone say that about you've me you've got this face like don't fucking talk to me bruh no it's it's called a resting bitch face <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> ah, you got that on lockdown dude <laughs> Do I really? Mm. Everyone always says, you are so intimidating. I'm like, guys, yeah. I, I'm chilled. I've always thought I'm chilled. Yeah. But everyone says I'm intimidating. And I don't know why. Lesbian. Everyone says that. <laughs> I think it's the tomboy thing. It's yeah. the tomboy thing. Yeah. I, I, and also, I'm very uncomfortable around females. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh, it makes sense. Because before I knew you, uh, I thought you were intimidating. Mm-hmm. And then when I met you, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. She's Chilled. one of the boys. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. But listen. She um, ski, see. <laughs> I'd like to apologize for my past mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was it when you met your husband? Did you have a resting bitch face when you met him? Funny enough, that's the first thing he says. I was so scared to approach you for like, I think for like two years. Yeah. Yeah. For two years, he had been trying to kind of get to know me, um, telling all his friends that he wants to meet me. And I was like, I'm not Because he fell in love with you on radio. That's the thing. Yeah. He fell in love with me on radio. He fell in love with the voice. Mm. He didn't even really know what I looked like, but he was like, I like this girl. And then um, we had mutual friends. There's something about your voice because even Fresh fell in love with your voice. I know. Like, I don't know what it is about this voice. Maybe it's the husky. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But there's something about the voice. Maybe it's because it's a little nasal. It's a little bassy. It's a little... It's a mixture of a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, hubby got hold of some of my friends mm. and he told them that he wanted to hook up with me. They would always come to me and I was like, I'm not interested. Like, can this guy leave me alone? This is clearly before DMs and shit. No. You know what I mean? It was still BBM. And then there was BBM. Yeah. And somehow he got hold of my BBM co- pin. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and then we started talking. <laughs> then I met up with him at a kickoff event. Yeah, And I was like, Ugh, I really am not. Because the thing is, it wasn't even about him. Mm. It was just I had this rule where I thought, I'm in sport, but the one thing I will not do is date a footballer. Yeah, yeah. I will not date a footballer. I will not date a coach. I will not date anyone Look that has to know. do with sport. I know, right? Yeah, yeah so much for that idea. <laughs> but yeah, so that was, that was my thing. And when he approached me, I was like, you're a footballer. If you were anything else, maybe. Yeah. But you're a footballer. I'm not interested. If I, if I had known that you're not lesbian, maybe I would have tried my life. <laughs> This child, <laughs> I could have been your bed ten. <laughs> <laughs> but also remember, I was BFFs with Zintle, who everyone also so thought exactly. is lesbian. So everyone just assumed, oh, Zintle mm-hmm. has exactly. to be a couple thing. Yeah. No, it wasn't. We were just the best of friends. But anyway, before we get into that, let's yeah. start with your career. Um, yeah, you started in IT. Yes. Why the hell would you leave that for this? I started in IT. I was doing, I was a technician at first and then I got into sales. Mm. And the reason I left is because I really fell in love with radio. Like it's purely that. I fell in love with radio and I was like, this is my passion. This is what I want to do. Um, I don't feel like I'm working. Whereas doing sales, anyone will tell you, you work literally 24 7. And I'd gotten to a point where, I would get clients calling me at six o'clock in the morning. Um, on the weekends, you're not off because your phone has to constantly be on. Because Reply to emails. Do you get what I mean? Mm. And then I became a customer relationship manager and things just got worse, you know. And I thought, I can't do this. Yeah. I really can't do this. I need to have a, a work-life balance. Yeah. And then finding a gig where you're working three hours a day. Yeah. Come on. And it's not even really work. It doesn't come sweeter than that. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, okay, I, I like this. I really, I really enjoy this. And I, I do owe my, my um, career to DJ Fresh. Yes, yes. Because he got me into it. Because yeah. at first I was doing voiceovers. And even that, I was like, people get paid to do this? Dude, how many people has Fresh put on? 
a lot. Oh my god, a lot in this there's industry. You, there's DJ Proverb, Cleo, there's Proper Kent, yes, Euphonic, yes, ah, uh, so Mr. Mean. T. There was a whole lot of us that he put on, but. And the thing I like about him, he doesn't go out there telling everybody. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, if he's you know, quiet you know. about it. If you know, you know. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, he will not go, go around telling everybody, you are who you are because <laughs> I made of you. me. I made you. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that, which, yeah. which is absolutely cool. Uh, so before you get into YFM, yeah. were you listening to any radio? Who were you listening to? I was listening to radio. Um, and more than anything, I was listening to YFM before there was even DJs. Because when YFM started, they had a test signal for, I think, about a month or two yeah. where they were just playing music. Wow. And at the time, being a young person who absolutely obsesses over music, here's this channel that's just playing music 24-7. Yeah. No DJs, it's just music. And it was just the biggest hits at the yeah, time. There was no SoundCloud at the time. Dude, <laughs> it was just the biggest hits at the time. I was like, wow, I like this the station yeah, yeah. and then they had djs and those djs became such game changers yeah, you know your yeah, bad boy yeah. tees your greg malokas your fat rude joe. boy pauls your fat joes you know they literally came in and changed what radio was mm, then mm. and i fell in love i was like i like these guys i want to be one of these guys yeah. but then i was still in matric at the time so it was just one of those far-fetched things yeah. And yeah, that's that. That was the radio I listened to ever since '97. So you get into YFM. There, please name drop some of the stars that were there, bro. Because <laughs> you were like stars, when YFM was peaking. peaking. That's the thing. Because I I came in when you know there were still your Unatis, your Bad Boy Tees, your Sansas, your rude Lees, boy. your Rude Boys. Like everyone was there. Mm. And were you starstruck? Not really. Hey, mm. I feel like I. I have very few moments where I'm starstruck. Like very, very few people in my life that have ever gotten me to a moment where I'm like, oh, I'm having a moment. Not even very your few. husband. Not even my husband, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but when it comes to my husband, I've, in every interview before I met him, and I think that's what gave him the idea that I liked him. Yeah. I always say, whenever I was asked, who's your favorite player? I always said him. Yeah. So I think whenever he would read these interviews, he was like, ah, I have a chance here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so at the time there was just all these stars, you know, your Cabzelas were there. You were the Cabzela? How was that like? That was absolutely, he was amazing. Because when I came here, he left him yes. and uh, what's the girl he was working with? The lady. Um, Udre, Dre, Dre yeah, yeah. But then they left and then the second wave came in and that was you guys. Yes. You know, your Mac G's, your Mo Flavors. Yeah. And you guys also just continued with the fun that was no YFM, you know? So I went through two waves of YFM, which was absolutely amazing. And then at some point I felt like, okay, I'm the veteran now. <laughs> I am like the oldest one here. Yeah. Something's got to change, you know? You but know, for the longest fun. time, I thought you were smashing fresh, eh? Wow, guys. Yeah, I kid you not. Why does everyone think that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there are so I many misconceptions <laughs> about me. <laughs> Do you know how many misconceptions there are about me? I actually need to write a book. Yeah. I think I need to write a book. Because I was doing a uh, night shift on weekends, right? Yeah. And you are doing the show before me. So yes. you hand over to me. Yeah. And then uh, you'd chill. Like, after your show, you'd chill and we'd chat for like 30 minutes. Yeah. And Fresh would be calling you in the morning. I'm like, why is Fresh calling my but boy? He, but remember, he gigs... Oh, so he gigs, and yeah. because we were like really, really chilled yeah. friends, yeah. that would be the perfect time to call. Oh, makes you know sense. what I mean? In between gigs, exactly. And he knows at that time I'm awake. Oh, yes. So obviously, if my girl is awake, yeah. I'm gonna call her. And that's Be the like, first hey, time he gave you? me. I almost cried. Like, you Why? Because uh, um, you were speaking to him. Yeah. And then he's like, "Yo, tell Mac he's he's dope. I like him." I'm like, yes. "Fresh, said I'm dope." <laughs> <laughs> so you had a moment. Yeah, I had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love listening to you. Yeah. Absolutely love so after that, you did weekends and then you got your own show. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which was during the week, 9 to 12. Yes. Love that show. And when Menage I listened to that show. Menage toi. toi. <laughs> and when I listened to your show, the sports in you came out a little bit. Yeah. But we'll get into that uh, yes. uh, shortly. Yeah. How was that like for you? Ooh, Menage toi was absolutely. Because your own show, dude. No, but the thing is, after Fresh left and went to five, um, I kind of was like, okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then Bondo was like, no, let's give you a 12 to 3 show. So I would come in after Amon. 
And I would be doing this romantic show, and I was like, this is not my vibe. Yo, Love like, balance. Yo, guy. I was like, <laughs> I like R&B, but no, hey. Like, I felt like I was, I needed to slit my wrists every time. But I enjoyed it, but yeah. not as much as I should. Then they moved me to Graveyard, which is where Menage a Trois was born. Mm. Um, I did 12 to 3 midnight, Saturday and Sunday. And then I was like, hmm, okay, so we're growing. Then after a year, they decided to give me the 9 to 12. Mm. And then it was cut down to 12 to 3 because of the 9 at 9. I uh, think. Hot 9-9. Nine, nine. Hot 9-9. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was doing 10 to 12. So I, at the time I was like, oh, okay, there is some growth to my, mm. my career, which mm. actually felt Amazing. And then they gave me Kumani, who had come from the Y Academy. Oh, Kumani. Oh, and at first we had guy. clashes because I was like, why are they giving me this kid who knows nothing? <clears throat> like, what is going on? Are they testing me? Are they testing my patience? Mm. At first we had clashes because I was like, you don't know what you're doing. I... I I'm not here for that. Yeah. You know, you you better and catch up with brand, me. Eh? Dude, I was like, like you, tell I, it is, it is. you better catch up with me because <laughs> if you're not catching up with me, I'm going to tell management this is not working and you have to leave. Shit, I so, just said brunt instead of blunt. Blunt. No, but I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was that. I was like, no, okay, we we need to work on this. You you need to to get your ducks in a row. Yeah. Fortunately, he got his ducks in a row yeah. and we had we made amazing radio yeah. like he he was absolutely amazing even now we still keep in touch he just recently got his master's degree oh nice so he's always he's, been a smart one eh? yeah, yeah yeah he got married as well oh so wow hey, people i'm are very crying, happy eh? for him i'm very happy for him <laughs> so yeah growth, growth 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 and then what happened with why why did you leave i was fired wow you, you didn't know that <laughs> you didn't know that no, I, didn't. I was fired um but you know what? At the time that I was fired, I kind of felt like it was coming mm. because also I was feeling like I'm too old for the platform. Mm. So now because you're feeling too old, you start pushing boundaries and you start, you know, doing this and that. And I had played, I had double HP on the show. Mm. He can't have double HP on the show and he tells you I have a new song yeah. and you're just going to let him go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. So I was like, I'm not going to let you go. You say you have a new song. And it was, I think it was music and lights. Yeah. I was like, drop the song. Yeah. I know I'm not allowed to do this, but I can't have double HP and let you go. Yeah. So I dropped the song and they fired me for dropping For that? A, yes. Wow. They fired me for dropping a song. I was like, but this is YFM. This is what we do. Yes. But yeah, they fired me for that. I think they, they were looking for something. Yeah. But How did they I, tell you that you fired? We had some DC, but then even before I went to the DC, there's someone in management who told me, listen, the DC is just the formality. <laughs> hey. You're going to get fired. <laughs> So I was like, oh, okay. So I went in there already knowing <laughs> that I was going to oh, get fired, shit, which made things easy because I had two weeks to literally mentally prepare myself to mm. the fact that, okay, it's done. The only thing I regret is just not being given the opportunity to say goodbye. No one ever does. <laughs> that was the only thing I was like, ah, guys, you didn't even give me the chance to just say goodbye. They said, why well, when you get fired? When you walk in the building, everybody knows except you. Dude, <laughs> that's the thing. I was like, ah, okay, fine. It's goodbye. So that was that was yeah. the end of me and why. So now you get fired. Are you thinking, shit, what am I going to do? Am I going no, back into IT? No. And the reason I wasn't I wasn't panicking or anything is because I had already started with super sport. Oh. So by the time they fired me, I was like, okay, let's just fall back completely on sport. Yeah, yeah. So it, it kind of worked itself out. So your stars aligned, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And as for great. sport, do you think you would have liked it if it wasn't for your dad? <clears throat> Hmm, that's a very good question. No one's actually asked me that. Yeah. Do I think I would have liked sport if it wasn't for my dad? I'm not sure. Mm. Or possibly I would have, but probably not as much as I do. Mm. Because I was an athlete at school. I was interested in playing soccer, even though I never got the opportunity to because the our principal at the time felt that girls shouldn't play soccer. Mm. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> You know, but yeah, that's why I ended up not playing soccer. But yeah, my dad had played a huge role in, yeah. in, in my appreciation of yeah. sport overall because he loved soccer. He loved boxing. Yeah. So yeah. So you walk into Super Sport. This is a big corporation. Tell me about your first show. Were you nervous? That's the thing. Um, I was very, very nervous. But when I went in for a screen test, yeah. it was very interesting because they said to me, okay, we're going to put you on screen. Um, and then see what you do. So basically, I was, who was I auditioning? I can't remember. But I was auditioning someone mm. while I was being auditioned. Oh, I you see. You know? So they just wanted to know 
my knowledge mm. and my comfortability in front of the camera. Mm. And then they said, okay, fine, you're doing well. So let's put an earpiece in you and see. Put an earpiece. I did well. And literally, they took me on the spot. They were like, oh, you got this. Wow. Let's do this. And then I was given the um, NFD show. Yeah to do and yo i was so nervous yeah. I had, but the nice thing about it they kind of got me into it because we started pre-recording the show before we went live oh, so we started doing a few pre-records from the pre-records we went live and i was like this is fun yeah i could do this for the rest and of my life people don't actually know this but it's actually hard especially when you come from a radio background to do pre-recorded shows yes because we're used to things being live exactly yeah. and you're used to this is the one take i'm yeah. doing this and i'm done yeah. you know so i think because of the radio background it was easy to go live yeah. because i'm used to when it's gone it's gone mm. you can't take it back yeah. you know you can't say oh cut i messed up there let's do that again yeah. if it's gone it's gone so it, it was an easier transition for me to go to live than like you say doing yeah. Uh, pre-records and then what happened at Supersport did they send you an SMS as well no <laughs> you're so spicy <laughs> <laughs> no with Supersport what happened what happened was <laughs> um, I I don't know what happened I went on my maternity leave mm. I got pregnant went on my maternity leave came back from my maternity leave and the NFG, NFD show was given to someone else and I was like, oh, okay, okay, so am I continuing with my show? And they were like, no, you're no longer doing the show. I'm like, oh, mm. okay, so what's going to happen now? Yeah. Then they got me into a meeting, and a certain gentleman, whose name shall not be mentioned, but you know who you are, yeah. said, we don't think you're talented enough to wow. be on TV. I was like, my goodness. excuse me, Damn. wait, I've been here for three years, and you're telling me this after now. three years yeah. that I'm not talented. Like, what's going on? And then eventually I was told, no, you, we don't want to see you on screen. What, 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 what? I was like, okay, cool. Then I was given the opportunity to do voiceovers. So I started doing voiceovers. For Supersport. Like, for Supersport. Okay. So I would voice, um, I used to voice PSL News. Uh, I used to voice um, Love PSL. I was literally the voice of Love PSL. Yeah. So that's what I did. And then eventually um, there's a lady by the name of Geletzo who went to... Uh, to do management at SABC and she was like listen I understand how frustrated you are because she used to be at Supersport yeah. and she said I need a female come on board mm. came on board I actually remember I left Supersport to go have lunch meanwhile I drove to Auckland Park to go sign my contract Wow! <laughs> I came back and I literally resigned on the spot because yeah. I, I just signed my contract. So, so now like, are you at Metro or SABC? Just no, I'm, I'm, I was at Supersport fully. Yeah. Then I went to SABC. Um, I started on TV and oh, then they okay. said, no, we need, a we need you on, on, on radio as yeah. well because you have a radio background. Yeah. And that's how I ended up on Metro. Mm. And then Metro, what you, you worked uh, just all over the place. I was all over the place <laughs> at Metro. So in the beginning, I was doing 12 to 3 with Amon and Pearl. And then from there, after I think it was after a year, they moved me to Mo Flavor on the drive. Mm. It was Mo Flavor and Masichaba. Mm. And then after that, I think after about three or four months of being with Mo Flavor, it yeah. wasn't long. Yeah. They moved me to uh, breakfast, fresh yeah. breakfast with DJ Fresh. Because he was like, he was like, listen, I'm leaving five. I'm coming to Metro. I don't want to work with anyone else. I want to wow. work with you. I was yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. And this he tells me on a, I think it was a Wednesday. And I was passing him down the, he was walking past in the corridor. Yeah. And he was like, oh, they're going to call you. I'm coming on board. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, <laughs> they'll call you. I'm like, Oh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Then on the Friday, they say to me, oh, by the way, you're no longer going to, from Monday, Yeah, you are not on the drive anymore. You're on fresh breakfast. I was like, oh, okay. Then we had a, a workshop on the Saturday, work, workshopping the show. Yeah. And then on Monday, we started. Dude, because you always seem to be at the right place, right time. <laughs> it's relationships, man. When you have, you know what? I always tell people, this industry is so small that when you get an opportunity to work with people, don't be a bitch. Mm. Don't be an asshole. Because mm. you never know when the opportunity to work with them again mm. will come about. They might be a boss. And Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Imagine I had not been a nice person to DJ Fresh or I had been difficult to work with. Or oh, you're not giving it up, you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play that game. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't play that game. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. a huge advocate of hard work yeah. and, and literally just making sure you, you can do see your best your all the time. Yeah. Do you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah. So whenever the opportunity to work with somebody comes about, that's what I do. Well, I, 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 I'll 
take any opportunity and run with it. What was it like working with Fresh? He's my eye. The second dude. time. Yo, the first dude. time, he was younger, crazier, yeah. but still fun. Yeah. Second time, more mature, a father, a, a husband, but still crazy. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. It was so much fun. You know, waking up to that guy and knowing that even at five o'clock in the morning, he's firing on all cylinders. That was amazing. Straight from the club. Stra- dude, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that was fun. And then you recently fun. left Metro. Right? I recently left Metro. <laughs> what happened? And then? we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I've got leave it at that. If it's wrong, you no one ever wants to talk about it. No, but. it's not even that. It's just... You know what? Once you get started, then you won't stop. Mm. Because there's just so much drama after drama after drama after drama that I don't have it in me to have these fights. Mm. It was the same thing with when I left YFM. I did not go around talking about it. I left it. Because for me, that's a door that closed. And that's okay. For me, I believe every door that closes, there's always another one that opens. And so far, it has opened up other doors, which I'm like, so in essence... This was a great favor. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I never look at a closing door as in a negative way, yeah. ever. Would you go back to super sport? I can never say no okay. to anything. Yeah. I can never say no because I feel like at any stage in life, there's always an opportunity that might arise yeah. that you can't say no to. Yeah. So I can never say no. Uh, so let's talk about your love life since you're yeah. into lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> My love life since you're into lesbian. Wow. <laughs> So look, like mm. from the outside, man, this is just my opinion. Yeah. Um, you would think like it's brave to date a soccer player. Yeah. Because of the misconceptions, you know, they're very yeah. synonymous for dribbling. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Weren't you scared uh, uh, um, dating a soccer player? Um, I wasn't scared, but I was skeptical. Mm. I was very, very skeptical. And I was like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Um, but, you know, we had our dramas. Yeah. We broke like up. Like any relationship. Yeah, yeah, we had our dramas. We broke up when I was pregnant because I was like, you know what? I, I don't need this drama right now. This is my very first child. Um, because also I have endometriosis. So I was told at a very young age that I will not be able to have children. Oh. So when I did fall pregnant... And actually in 2008, I felt pregnant, but had a miscarriage. So when I felt pregnant this time around, I was like, I'll be damned if you are putting me through stress Mm. and I'm going to end up losing this child because I really want this child. So I literally like separated myself. from Which must have been hard. It it was very hard. So I literally removed myself from him because I wanted to make sure that I don't put this child in jeopardy whatsoever. So yeah, that's what we did. We broke up for... It was two years that yeah. we were apart. Yeah. And then eventually we got back together. And uh, before your husband, who was your soccer crush? Because like every girl, whether you love soccer or not, <laughs> everyone has a soccer crush. JJ Okocha. JJ Okocha. <laughs> you like them dark, man? I do. I love my man dark. <laughs> my father is dark. I don't know any better. My father is dark. So I don't know any better when it comes to um, shades of black. Yeah. I The blacker, the better. Yeah. They say the, the, the blacker, the better. The juicy, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. How, how long before you give it up to him? <laughs> really? <Yeah? laughs> we are not having that conversation. Do you have the thirty-day rule? You no, look like the thirty-day rule. Ha- no, I would never have that rule. I mean, thirty-second rule. I always find that thirty-day rule to be really stupid. Nah. Because you cannot judge any relationship based on previous relationships. Yeah. You cannot dictate what should happen in a relationship because then that means you're not living in the moment. Yeah. You must live in the moment. I heard soccer players are good in bed because they have stamina. They never get tired. Wow. <laughs> well, only extra time. This is my husband, so I'm not going to discuss <laughs> him. If he was a boyfriend maid, <laughs> this is my husband. I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> uh, but it sounds like when you, spoke, when you speak about your child, man, yeah. like your, your eyes just glow. How has motherhood changed you, man? Motherhood is amazing. I have two beautiful babies. Yeah. Um, you know, my husband came into the relationship with, you scared a, with the, a baby. Um, the second, second child. Was I not scared? Mm. No. Nah. No. I've known my daughter since she was four. Oh. So she literally grew up in front of me. Okay. She's known me since she was four. So she's always known that there's mommy yeah, yeah. Uh, somewhere in the background. Um, so, but motherhood has changed. It's, it's made me a little softer. 
Mm. Um, no more bitch thinking face. I, 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 resting bitch face. That will never, that will never end. That's me. That's who I am. I don't see a need to walk around smiling for no reason. <laughs> like I, I really don't. Maybe I take myself too seriously. I don't know. Yeah. But it's just how I am. And you still party because you used to party a lot. No, dude. I don't party. I don't drink alcohol anymore. You don't drink? No. Wow. I think that's the reason I felt pregnant. Actually, my body <laughs> went into shock. <laughs> Because yo, we used to drink. Yo, uh, dude. Like, yo, it was a lot. Yeah. But but I don't drink anymore. I don't party. I, I'm i chilled now. I'm a mommy. Yeah. You know, I, I, I rush to get home, pick up the kids from school, come home and cook supper, sit around helping the kids with homework. I'm that mom now. Who you know? you? I know, right? <laughs> But it's growing. I'm almost 40, bro. Wow. I have to grow. You're you have good to grow. for 40, bro. Thank you. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> my poor husband. <laughs> No, she makes life. Yeah. Life. So, uh, shit, we're almost out of time. I want to ask you some, you know, a soccer trivia because I know Why? you love soccer. Why? Um, Why? But what do you think of the radio radio landscape right now? What do I think of radio? Mm. Radio is in a very interesting, transitional, depressing state. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it's it's the same with television. We are no longer about the talent. Eesh. We're more about the popularity. Mm. And that Become depresses a popularity me. contest. It is a popularity yeah. contest, and that depresses me. So more than anything, it, I just find myself to be... I don't know. I, I hardly listen to entertainment radio. Yeah. I, I'm more on the talk side now, mm. because I'd rather engage with what's happening around the world. I find that to be a better space yeah. than the entertainment space mm. where because I have a million followers, I can just be on radio. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> 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 no yeah. shade. No shade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And the TV landscape. It's the same. Mm. I mean, I, I, I'd spoken to a couple of, um, renowned actors and actresses who will tell you now when you go for an audition, one of the first things they will ask you on the audition sheet is, how many followers do you have wow, on social media? That's crazy. And you're thinking, I'm a thespian. I went to school. I studied for this. Or if, I'm, if I didn't go to school, I have years and years of experience. Now you want to compare me with somebody who just has followers on social media. Really? Can I play that's what it's become to. Uh, can I play devil's advocate? Yeah. In as much as you're saying that, uh, you know that saying, you got to move with the times. Yeah. Is this you just being a fossil? Or no, I, 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 it's got nothing to do with that. I think I, I'm all for a talented person getting the job mm. than you getting the job because you happen to be popular. I see. And then you are not about the craft because if you're not about the craft, then you will not respect the craft. You will not give it the attention it, it deserves. You will not give it... You will not put in the work, yeah. you know, and I have no issue. There are people who've got into this industry because of being popular, but then went on to do the work mm, and mm. have done exceptionally well yeah. at it. That I'm all for. If you get that opportunity and you give the craft the respect it deserves, good for you. Mm. But if you are just in this and we're not even seeing the hard work, we're not seeing the dedication, we're not seeing the passion. You're taking space from someone who mm. is passionate about this industry. Yeah. And that's my issue. And the thing is, those people come and go. Exactly. You know I mean? Because people, you're not passionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. Whereas there's someone who went to school mm. and really wants to do this. And we're talking about open up the industry. How do we open up the industry if then it's just about I'm popular? Yeah. You know? All right, cool. So, uh, you love soccer. Who, who do you support? Uh, PSL, who do you support? I don't support anyone in the PSL. Uh, I EPL? support my husband. Hey, 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 no. <laughs> hey no. In the EPL, I'm a Manchester United fan. Hey, hey, unfortunately, we've had such a terrible <laughs> season. Ever since um, uh, Sir, Sir Alex, Alex left, yo, yo. it's been downhill from there. Dude, and I has. don't know, man, have it hurts. Old Trafford? I have been to oh, Old Trafford. It's absolutely goodness. amazing. It was such a great experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. I loved it. Now I just need to go to Barcelona. Ah, new camp. Yeah. And the Olympics, how was that for you? That was amazing. I spent a month in, in Brazil. Brazil. That was so awesome. absolutely awesome. But the one thing I found very weird, we're always talking about Brazilian girls are so great. They're so gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Yes, only, they are. Only if you go to Copacabana Beach. Yes, in Rio. Yes, but most of them are just... 
like wow okay this is what you guys are talking about <laughs> I, guys south african girls are better like no 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 i was in they're the brazilian no girls, they're hot unless you go to the beach if you don't yeah, go to yeah, the yeah. beach then the girls are just ordinary did you go to the favelas the, i went to the favelas that was really scary it was eh? mm-hmm. <laughs> i only got uh, told how scary it is when i got on the plane coming back yeah uh, cuz i went and i was like oh cool this is dope no. but the guy was like yo dude you do dude. not know what goes down there yeah no 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 that was scary i was like you know what put me in a township any day <laughs> Those, no, the favelas are on another level. All right, cool. Let's see how well you know the PSL. All okay. right, PSL trivia. Highest earner at Pirates. Who is it right now? I don't know. I don't Take care what people earn. Take a guess. I, I honestly have no idea. Uh, happy jail. 160,000. It makes sense. It makes sense. How much was but your husband? But only on 160. Yeah. How much was your husband? More than that. Mm, I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, let's go to the EPL. Who was yeah. the top scoring Englishman in this league this season? Englishman? Yeah, Englishman. In the Would EPL. that be Harry Kane? Nope. Another guess. Hmm. I have no idea because I know the, the top three are all Africans. Yeah. Who Jamie was Vardy. Eng- was it Jamie Vardy? Yeah, 18 oh, goals. Okay. Kane and Sterling got 17. Ah, so they were yeah. close. They yeah. were close. What do you okay. think? I think we should have bought Kane instead of Lukaku. We should have brought the bank for him. But isn't Kane leaving now? Where is he going to go? I don't know. Nah, no one's going to buy Kane now. He's worth like 200 million. You know how crazy Wait, is. isn't he going to Real Madrid? No, not a chance. Not a chance. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Okay. All right, let's go to La Liga. Mm-hmm. Who's won more La Liga titles? Barca or Real Madrid? Barcelona. No, nope, Real Madrid. Is it Real Madrid? Yeah. I would have thought it's Barcelona. No, Barcelona has 26, Real Madrid has 23. Huh. Which sports are you watching? <laughs> I always thought it was Barcelona. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. But what do you prefer, Barcelona or Real Madrid? I'm a Barcelona fan. Ne? Of Huge Messi. Barcelona fan. Not even because of Messi. I just think they're a better team yeah. than Real Madrid. Because yeah. Real Madrid right now, it almost comes across as though they were dependent on one person. Yeah, it does. Since yeah. uh, Ronaldo left. Since Ronaldo left. So and who are you with? That's uh, my Messi issue. or Ronaldo? That whole I'm old... a Messi fan. Ne? I'm a Messi fan because I... I feel like the comparison between them is also very unfair because I feel like Messi is pure talent, whereas yeah. Ronaldo is hard work. Yeah. You know, he's hard work plus the talent, but Messi is just, it's pure talent. Yeah, it's natural. It's natural talent. Yeah, so that's why I also like him as well. Yeah. And have you ever met any sports stars in, like, Gun Star Struck? JJ Okocha. Oh, you met <laughs> <laughs> Yes, when I met him, I was absolutely starstruck. He's, yeah. he's everything. Who else have you met? Who who else have I met? Have you met Messi? No, I haven't met Messi. Unfortunately, when he was in the country, I was out of the country. Oh yes, which was when so, you did come. so yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so sad. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I would have loved to meet him. Yeah. But yeah, I I. And what's your take on Bafana Bafana? Can I not talk about? <laughs> Can I not talk about Bafana Bafana? Honestly, I find I don't know, man. I feel like in this country. We keep talking of ourselves of, as being a football nation, but we're not really. Yeah. I don't think we're a football nation. Why is that? Sometimes I feel like, I don't know. You know, when, 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 you, when you experience our talent, especially at development age, I feel like we're not doing enough to develop our talent from young age. Mm. So we try and want to hone people's skills when they're 18. And by 18, you've already picked up so many bad habits that it's difficult yeah. for anyone to get rid of those habits. And that's what all these European uh, countries they have nailed them down. Young. Yeah. yeah, they start them young. Whereas we don't do that. You know, when you go to any school and you have a geography teacher who's also the coach of a football team, it's like, who do you know about soccer? <laughs> You're a geography teacher. Man. <laughs> you know? So I feel like that's the problem. Yeah. We are not taking coaching in this country as a career, whereas mm-hmm. it should be. You know, if if you love soccer, you should be able to walk into any school and get a job. And schools also need to take sports seriously to have professionals, even if it's former players, as coaches. Yeah. So that we hone the skill the skills yeah. from a very young age. I mean, the rugby boys do that. The cricket yeah, boys yeah. do that's that. That's why they excel. Exactly. But we don't do that. Well, excel, but now the proteas are showing us flames. Yeah. What do you th- what's your take on the proteas, man? We're going to crash out. You reckon? Yeah. We lost to India. I mean, really. We lost to England. But we, India's we a We lost to Bangladesh. We've lost three games on the trot. I think there's still hope. No. <laughs> We're coming home, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, my boy, thank you so much. I, I'll for, forever. I'll forever. Everyone call you my calls boy. me my boy. It's okay. Yeah. I don't even take it personally. Yeah. It is what it is. No, thanks for coming, man. You know, thank one thing you. I love about you is that your career has been like. If you Google Umpu my boy or Umpu Litsulenyane, you'll find no scandals, dude. You have no scandals. I have no scandals, yes. You know? <laughs> because I'm boring. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm boring. But also, my personal life has always centered around my husband because that's the only person that anyone has ever known me yeah. to be dating. So you during, during the time I knew boyfriend. you were dating him? When? No. During the time like, when we were working together? No. Why? Oh, no. Okay. I only started dating him, what, 20? Towards the end of 2010? Oh, towards so, the end of 2010. Yeah. 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 So that's the only man anyone has ever known in my life. Yeah, yeah. I've dated other people before. Don't you get jealous when he's like uh, touring and playing overseas and mm, stuff? He's working. Yeah. It's the same with me. When I'm working, I'm working. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not there to try and scout for people. But you don't look like the jealous type, no? Everyone is jealous. You can't be in a relationship and not be jealous. <laughs> Then that means you don't love your partner. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't be in a relationship and not be jealous. Yeah, yeah. We do have jealous moments. Yeah. Mm. But I think you got to be a strong woman to take a, uh, date a soccer player. Man. you got to be a strong woman to date a man. Period. Mm -hmm. Because people always assume that it's only soccer players and DJs and whatnot who cheat or guy, any guy, <laughs> any man. Men are as faithful as their opportunities. Yeah, even these forex guys, what time? Men are as faithful as their opportunities. Yeah, yeah. So if he gets the opportunity to do something he shouldn't be doing, hey, sort of get. And we're talking of air, because uh, I've been asking Len to do a sports um, podcast for yes, our channel. Yes, yes. Uh, ah, he's... you're going to put me on the spot. <laughs> Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. Why are you being this guy? Why are you being this guy? Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. Would you begin to don't do be this guy. <laughs> don't be this guy. Uh, don't be this guy. You can sign right now. <laughs> Pleasure. Yes. But anyway, well, what are your future endeavors? What's uh, what can we expect from you? What's what's um, your pipeline? I'm actually working on going digital now. Okay. I'm playing in the digital space, literally taking my career 360 because yeah. I started out in IT, so I'm going back in IT, but taking IT and mixing broadcasting into it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's going to be because uh, it's a very interesting uh, interesting time to be in the digital space It right is, now. it is. And I've also got a blog, myself, my husband and my, and my sister. Yeah. We've got a blog called Two Girls and a Guy. Oh, wow. So we blog about cars, football, yeah. whatever, anything yeah. that has to do with whatever's on either one of us' minds at the time. Hey, look at you, my boy. Yeah, when I first man, met you, you're a lesbian, fun. now you're a man. Wow. Now you're a when you first met me, I was lesbian. <laughs> I was never lesbian, nigga. What is wrong with you? Have, you've never been with a woman? I've ne I didn't say that. I said I was never <laughs> lesbian. There's a difference. I was never a lesbian. So you've been with a woman? Okay, it was great being here. Because <laughs> I heard a, a woman, no guy will ever kiss you like a woman. I don't know. You don't know? I think you do. Was it Zintli? Wow. <laughs> Can we just leave people out of these things? Goodbye, man. Bye, No, Menchie. but anyway, thank you so much, my boy. Thank you thank so much you. for coming through. Thank you for yeah. having me. Uh, where can people check you out? Social media, where you at? Um, We're trying to get you to a million followers. Where? <laughs> on Twitter, I'm M underscore Litsulonyane. On Instagram, Mpo underscore Litsulonyane. Um, Facebook, Mpo Litsulonyane. But I'm hardly ever there. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. But you're always tweeting you very opinionated. Hey, yeah, one of that opinion is what gets me in trouble in life. <laughs> <laughs> I must learn to yeah. shut up. Yeah. Mm. What's the most heartbreaking thing you've heard someone say about you, like on Twitter, that really cut you deep? When someone said that they hope that the child I was pregnant with at the time will eat me from the inside. <gasps> No yes. ways. Yeah, that was one of the most hurtful things I've ever had anyone say to me on social that media. That is so cruel. I was pregnant, yeah. I was pregnant, and they said, I hope the child that you're pregnant with eats you from the inside. Oh, wow. That's I was like, wow. How can, that's not even trolling, dude. Dude, that's not even trolling. That's just pure hate. That is just pure hate. Jeez. Yeah. Yes. Sis. What's the longest you've gone without a job? I've never been jobless. Hey, <laughs> jobless dude i'm going on my th i think it's a year now is it but yeah. you're not jobless you're doing this this is a job yeah i'm working from home ah <laughs> that is the job we all aspire to work from home 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, hey, my bank account doesn't uh, reflect that, but anyway, <laughs> we'll get there. Not yet. Yeah, Not one episode yet. at a time. Exactly. Yeah, but exactly. thank you so much. Say hi to your sister. Thank you. She's looking good as well. What do you guys do, man? Do you guys do like yoga? Because you haven't aged. She she gyms a lot. Yeah. I me, I'm busy with sore backs and sore <laughs> knees, and I'm aging, man. I'm aging. Yeah. But yeah, she she gyms. Was it a conscious decision for you to like change your look? Because like you said, you were very tomboyish and now like you look good it's every TV. time. It's nah. TV. It's TV. You know, TV forces you to sort of be in a certain mold. Mm. So that's what they've done. They said, no, you have to look more feminine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what And is, is that like, is it strenuous for you or now you used no, to it? No, I'm used to it now. It's a part yeah. of life. Yeah. Yeah. Got the makeup on, whatever, you know? on fleek. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know? you, didn't you start like with Bol Rato Khanyaho? Who else did you start with in the industry? Klubi. Yeah. You started with them, right? you were friends with them, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who else are you tied with in, in the I'm cement? not tied with anyone in the industry now. You're kidding, no, no, I'm j- my life just revolves around soccer. And Zintle, you, you guys, no, we're not friends anymore. Oh, is it what happened there? We just grew apart, in yeah. all honesty. We yeah. just grew apart because I became a mom and she wasn't a mom at the time, she was still gigging, so things just, yeah, we just grew apart, but you still cordial, right? Yeah, no, yeah. no, I, I dig her. She's yeah. a she's a great human being. All right, cool. I dig her. All right, so look out. Uh, my boy might be doing our sports podcast. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> you never know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. See you. Thank Love you, thank me. you, thank podcast you. Podcast and chill, we out here. Boom. <laughs> podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.